And we're back with more LNOR. This is a polite invitation, but we'll see how polite that invitation really is. When last we left, Jack Kelso got his ass kicked. You're not looking too good, buddy. You got a little something on your face. Yeah, he's fine. He's been through worse. He was in the war. Who wasn't in the war at this point? I think it's easier to make a short list of who wasn't. Yeah. Well, only three days. <laughs> it is now 1952. <laughs> Oh, God! It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. I thought we were going to take control of Elsa. You know, bring out the notepad, and it's like, okay, Jack Kelso, tell me what you know. Are you kidding? It's 1947. Who wants to play abroad? Oh, I just wanted to shake the tree and see what comes out. <laughs> tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for RKO, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Uh huh. Oh dear, that's a name drop that might get you on the naughty list. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. Yeah, we'll get hit with the cease and desist, and well, that's all, folks. That's perfectly understandable, Mister. Jack. New from Warner Brothers, La Noir Two. Colon, we'll patch it later. La Noir Two, Colon, Saint Duluth. <laughs> Only no war too. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> ah, damn! Look at that dame. You, you really help. should let her go, Kelso. Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is so this is Peterson. He oh, is. Uh, he works for the DA, the, story, the district the attorney. Oh dear. Now what? You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? Uh, Colorful character mentioned your name. He said so because we've been pissing off the wrong people, the people of the suburban suburban redevelopment fund and the Elysian Fields. <laughs> oh God! They said a they lackey of the DA. Call in the middle of the night for no, favor. actually, it's people who want to bring these guys down. Oh, okay, that's better. That's a good lackey. For the moment, I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks, and you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. Ooh. It's going to get me elected. I'm oh, my God. Better. This is awesome. Going after the vice squad. Oh, we're going after God. the property developer. We're going to take these guys down. Oh, we, we get, this is great. We get a gun and a badge. Now, so you know what that means. We're going to get promoted. We're <laughs> going to get promoted. <laughs> Woo! But the problem is, man, our suit looks really shit. Gah. Gross. Gross. Terrible looking. Can I change it? I cannot. Well, that's fine. Ah. All right, Jack. Well, I mean, you're getting a new badge, you're getting a gun, you're getting $120 a month, but damn it, man, you Thanks don't have good fashion sense. Might be the only R&R &R I get for some time. Well, let's go talk to some of these investors of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, and of Elysian Fields. See if we can't connect some dots, bust some heads, arrest some fellas, get down to the bottom of all this shit. Sounds fabulous. I don't need this. Let's go. And where are we going first? We are going to Curtis Benson's apartment. Okay. He's the Vice President of California Fire and Life. You know, the all too all too eager to keep this stuff under wraps. So let's go figure out why. I have a question for you. What do you got? We ever going back to Colt Phelps? Yes. Okay. Right, but uh, the problem is with Colt Phelps right now, the police department hates us. Yeah, hates us because we're you know our name means jack shit right now. Right. So we're playing Jack Kelso to get a fresh view on things. 
And he can uh, slip his fingers in to where Cole Phelps cannot. And not, cr and not raises as much suspicion. Because Cole Phelps, he tries anything, he'll get free- he, he'll get frozen, shut out, shot, all that shit. Mm -hmm. Before- before his hat even hits the ground. Yeah. But Jack yeah. Kelso, he can- he can slip the cracks. For example, he, he's going right to the, the Vice President of, Fu of California Fire and Life to figure out what's going on and- Excuse me, sir. Yeah, Cole, I'm the glue that keeps this city together, I Don't mess with Jack Kelso. I do like Jack Kelso a lot better than Cole Phelps. I mean, Cole has his funny moments, but he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jack can be a dick too, but in like that kind of justice-looking dick, you know? <laughs> he's a big justice dick. <laughs> That's good for L.A. Yep, no one getting out of this parking lot. All right. <laughs> Jack, what a dick! I don't like him anymore. He's bad at but working. The, the thing is, Jack Kelso gets shit done. That's right. And you're about to see what kind of shit we're gonna get done here at Curtis Benson's apartment. I was just thinking, he's got a punctured lung, a broken rib, and he's still up at 9 in the morning getting answers. Couple of uh, Advils and he's ready to go. That's right. Not even a couple, just one. That's how good Jack Kelso is. Oh yeah. So take two, take two, last 12 hours, well, all I need is six, so just, oh. He also tramples flowers, like the best of them. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've is it really? A slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. <laughs> oh, God. Jack, like, all right, I, I've been beaten up. We've got, okay, we've got three cases left in the game. we got this one and two more. <laughs> One of them's a DLC case. I am fed up with all your dancing around bullshit. I'm pulling out the gun. I'm gonna smack you around. I'm gonna get some fucking answers. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we got a bit of an idea. Bam! Ooh! Yes! Jack! You're so good! So you sit the fuck down, I'm gonna look around. I... 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 I don't think he hit me. Well, he's got quite a few things to hide here, <sighs> three things in particular. Ooh. First one here is this! Oh. A share certificate from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund! Two thousand dollars?! Two of them! Four thousand dollars! Four thousand dollars?! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Guy's rolling in it! Something tells me that that's corrupt. Huh. He's got one more thing around here somewhere. Looking around. What exactly uh, do you expect to find, Jack? Well, I don't know. What am I supposed to find? It's a pretty nice house. Be a shame if something were to happen to it. Well, at least he's got some good taste in jazz. You like jazz? <laughs> you just hold up random objects. Do you like using forks, Mr. <laughs> Curtis? Well, 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 we got ourselves a water drinker here. Do I see lettuce in your fridge, Mr. Curtis? What do I do? What's this, though? An insurance agreement. Oh, somebody's getting mass money for the insurance policies on these houses. Pretty much, they pay dirt cheap for the plots, they build the houses for dirt cheap, and the houses inevitably fuck up. And then they get a huge bonus out of it. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about how you're a fucking fraud. I'm vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction. <laughs> yeah, oh, you can go lying. straight to hell. <laughs> you can go straight to hell with that shit. Bribe. bribe. What bribe? How can you mm -hmm. accuse me of benefiting uh, the head what, of What's bribe? It's not like I have a bribe right behind me on the desk over there. Uh, yeah, out in plain There's sight. There you go, bud. It's in your name, Curtis, not the company's. Huh. What did you use as collateral? Those uh, of the company. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place... It's actually the, the capital of California, of Sacramento. Sacramento. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. Ha! We'll see about that, Jack. 
Oh, we will see. See, we will see. See? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Well, we've got to build shitty houses. That'll somehow help L.A. in the long run. Meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. <laughs> They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Yeah, it's almost like you have an insurance agreement Dad, right on the... <laughs> you are a terrible liar! I, I would love it if he said, try to prove that while holding up the piece of evidence that incriminates him. <laughs> He's not the best at this. <laughs> As he reveals his tattoo on his arm that says property of Suburban Redevelopment yeah, exactly. Fund. Exactly! You were Why such a dog for the, the Suburban trips. Redevelopment Fund! It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Rosa <laughs> Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. Yeah, you're full of shit. And use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I Model houses, I'm sure. Out of balsa wood. Give me what I need or I'll beat it. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Get shit done. What to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. He may be many things. Correct. Well, we're going to take a look at California Fire and Life and get back to our office, but there's one more thing we need to... We need to investigate, though. One more thing! Hey! What's in here?! What?! How old are you, princess? Sixteen, mister? <laughs> nope! How old are you, really? Nearly thirteen. Twelve! <sighs> You oh. pedo ass! <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> pedo! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my so god. Oh, send it to prison. Very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. <laughs> that remains to see, Jack. <laughs> Woo! Boy. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! Just whip that thing out wherever you want to, Jack. Get dressed, you're getting yeah, I'm with the DA now, which means that, oh, they're gonna hear about this, no. alright. Oh my god, you are so screwed! He buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. <laughs> oh my god, your head's gonna be on a platter, Curtis. For your sake, she better not come back. Anyway, have a nice day. <laughs> Pet her ass. <laughs> Is that missable? Yes, it is. Oh my god. That's horrid. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's beautiful, though, because he's an absolute disgusting piece of grime. Uh, just kick open the door, whip out the badge. It's just like Jack Kelso getting shit done. That's his tagline. <laughs> Alright, California Fire and Life. Head back to our desk, check a few files, and then we'll start the case proper. Excellent, excellent. La 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 music, la 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 music! Yeah, still copyrighted <laughs> somehow! <laughs> I bet YouTube even copyrights, you know, royalty free music, I'm sure that's a thing. I should mention though that uh, the only time it ever really hits me for copyright is. Excuse me! Jesus! Speaking of hit, the only time it ever does that is uh, when I upload the footage on my other channel. R right, right. Then we, then we talk over it. N not when we actually do it on the real channel. Uh, I, I love the fact that a, a lot of Let's Players have actually gone in, turned the music off in-game just to play. Like, Grand Theft Auto, it's a goldmine for you two. Yeah. Turn that shit off. 13 stations, 140 songs, all of which can oh. be knocked for copyright. Exactly. It's, it's ridiculous. So oh, I think yeah. I kind of figured out why we're playing Jack Kelso for these parts. Because Cole's worth shit right now? Technically, this is another demotion, because we don't have a cop car, which means you don't have the siren, which means that we're more susceptible to be getting hit by other cars. Yeah, but being Jack Kelso is an upgrade. That I'm is sure. a huge upgrade, so, you know, uh, five spaces forward, one step back, you know? Okay, okay. At least we're going in the right direction towards the end goal, and not like, 
Not like shoots and ladders where you hit that bullshit ladder that takes you back down to the 30s. Uh, I or, exactly sorry, that would be a, a shoot. It's a ladder that goes down. Music, 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 music. <laughs> it's, it's okay, we're here. <laughs> you haven't gone deaf, the music's still playing. <laughs> California Fire and Life. Fire and Life don't go well together. We sell Fire and Life. So what about this insurance company? Like, why are they in deep with Elysian Fields and the suburban redevelopment and all that? Probably the root of all evil. Oh, elevator. Okay, <laughs> you, just do you, a little elevator trick. Just slide to the right. Slide to the left. Oh wait, that song hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> or maybe it has, and it was just a remake all these years. <gasps> we got some lawsuits to make, buddy. Alright, where is my office? Where is my office? Your office has been eliminated, Mr. Kelso. Please get off the premises. Eliminated? What? Oh, there it is. That's All how right. they clear desks in this place. They blow it up and then take out the insurance policy. <laughs> oh, okay. What we got? This is from the. This is the house from the Buckwalter case, the one that Elsa wanted us to look at. Mm -hmm. Well, the one that Cole wanted Elsa wanted us to look at. So we got the latitude and longitude. We don't have the actual areas to where it was. Mm-hmm. Let's see, we got, got to be more in these files. Yeah, that, that's the policy number there. On this pink slip, it's how much it was worth. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is 3500 Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Wow. We have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Hey, look who it is! It's old Dumpy himself. What's up, scumbag? Where's the go between? She's awful easy on the eye for a <clears throat> girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? <laughs> it's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. <laughs> Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Well, we got another case out of it, so hey. I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. And now I'm a different kind of investigator. I work for the DA. Sorry about a lot of things. And the DA is going to put his D in your A if you don't get out of my office. Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. So Elysian Fields is involved in these it's fires the somehow. The California Fire Life's making a us. killing off of these. And we got the, suburb the dudes up in the Suburban Redevelopment what's Fund. Yeah, they're, they're, they're making a whole bunch of money. So we, 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 need, to, we need some answers here. This is mm -hmm. why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Got a... Look, Jack. Crunch some numbers, but if not for me, do it for find some, some information, some the and maybe then we can get a handle on this nonsense. I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think oh, no, I deserve that medal. That but courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. What is courage but a mix of you bravery and chest. fear? I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. Thought about it? Nope. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Ah. So, let's go down to the Hall of Records, 
Maybe we can find some information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, and maybe on this plot that Lou Buckwalter was in when his house caught fire and all that shit. I mean, that's... good place to start as any, right? We're already here, too! Hooray! So, let's get to it! Off to the Hall of Records. A place where they only play records. Want any cassette tapes? Eight Hello. tracks? You need some, the land in the background, you hear Elvis playing. It? Oh, wait, he wasn't in the 30s. Never mind. Thanks. And what we have here is one of the hidden collectibles that we've somehow missed up until this point. Hidden shields! Wow! One of 20! How did we miss all these? Oh, we missed it. Wait a minute. There we go. That's in here. There we go. What can you tell me about the land? The company details of the suburban redevelopment fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. And it's an ambush. Guns blazing. Bang, 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 bang. Nah, they wouldn't do that. So let's head over here to all these records. Oh, these are records. So, let's pull out this certain one here. All the suburban okay. kinds of These are the company this. registers. This so should be in, good. So let's look under Suburban Redevelopment Fund, and I'm pretty sure we can find whoever's involved on that. Stillwater's Veteran, Home Care, Stephen Davis, Tenny Sons. It's not this page. Doesn't look like it. Try the next one. Oh, I saw it. Oh, here we are. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. We've got Leland Monroe, Dr. Harlan Fontaine, and <gasps> Courtney Sheldon. Courtney Sheldon. What is he doing here? They're both he's, there twice. He's one of the directors, and he's a shareholder. Oh my God! <laughs> Courtney Sheldon's the mastermind. Take him down. Not exactly. It's a new lot. So we've got. I have the coordinates. Coordinates for the house that uh, Buckwater was burned in, so maybe we can get an idea on where that was. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. So make our way over here to this piece of 1947 technology that you just don't see anymore. Oh, this is good. Four degrees. So 34, 429. Just like that. There we go. Oh, oh, uh, 2029. 20, yeah. There we go. The longitude is, oh, gotta go this way, so. 1758. So we gotta go all the way over here. The lot number's 18769888. There's a, there's... A, like literally a million lot numbers, so we got to figure out who that belongs to and all that. So over here, we'll go here to the ooh adding machine. An ooh. Adding machine. Oh my god! So we take our lot number, divide it by ninety thousand, and that'll give us a letter that we could use to figure out who's behind it. So one, eight, seven, six, nine. Eight. Eight. You're punching those numbers weird, sir. Divided by... Nine... Thousand. And ka -chink. And we got twenty! Twenty. Twenty, that is W. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. So it's twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle. Oh wait, no, it's not W. Oh, Shit, that would be that would be V, wouldn't it? Yes. So we'll walk on over here to the v to you, actually. D you, damn it! <laughs> Let's see what the side is worth. <sighs> Don't mind me. So, so how much is this land worth? How much is it really worth? 
Well, that's... One, eight, seven, six, nine, eight, eight. That lot number. Randall Jones. Here. There Randall he is. Jones. 350. Book value is 350. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is 3500. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? So they're making a lot of money off of this fraud. Yeah. Oh, oh great. my god, I called it. No you are right. They wouldn't do it in a place like this. The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. All right, let's kill these guys. <laughs> As you take it out on a poor defenseless railing. See, I don't have the Colt 45, so my gun's not as strong as Cole's. A Cole 45? Oh, you got <laughs> hurt. Yeah, that hurt. So I need to take it out on him a little bit before I continue on. Thank God for infinite ammo. Just imagine if you, you know, didn't come prepared. Uh, uh. Just Hang on. Uh. Oh, hold right on. in the shoulder. Right in the shoulder. Uh. Get up. There you go. Yeah. Right. Back of the head. Then there's this guy who doesn't know how cover-based shooting works. <laughs> oh. Idiot. Well, that was exciting. So now we need to ask Courtney Sheldon, what the fuck is he doing in the Elysian Fields okay, Development yeah. Fund and all that? You, you didn't need to come all hey, the Courtney, uh, what cool. the fuck? How can I help That's how you start your conversation, and then you take out the book. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, hey, I was right! Where? You were right! Know what you're talking about. Jack Kelso, he gets shit done! investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Ooh, somebody framing him? Is there, Courtney? Is he, is he being company. framed or is he the playing mayor, dumb? The district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Wow. Everyone is Dr. dirty. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of them. Fontaine and the rest. Give me the deets, Courtney. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, <sighs> but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. And he reinvested into an insurance fraud. That's what's happening. They're building houses for It's all a fucking Jack. scheme. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something yeah, for the people on top. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the Didn't houses. Al Capone do something close to this? Please, Jack. Maybe, I don't know. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. No, he doesn't. Like well, the good doctor stuff. seems to be involved in insurance fraud. Well, geez, what a revelation. We'll see how it plays out next time on L.A. Noir.